What's good guys, it's your boy Justin J coming to you with another video. Let's cook boys, let's cook. All right, handsome men's game. Why certain handsome men have trouble getting sex and why certain handsome men just have trouble attracting women to begin with, right? All right, guys, this is important. Get in the comments, spread love, right? Because yes, us handsome men, us select men, we didn't wake up and just have it all put together. We had to go through errors like trials and tribulations. We had to go through mistakes with women to actually understand when a woman is feeling us, actually into us, rather than she just wants our attention. You know what I mean, guys? So let's get in the comments and really try to like tell other dudes this is how it goes so they believe it and they start moving different. All right, guys. See, we see things completely different from women. So when you're thinking logically, you're like, yo, I'm handsome, I know I'm dope, you know, I've got friends, I've got a little social life, I've got a place to stay. This chick should be giving me an opportunity, like she should be trying to really get to know me. No, 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 here's where you're going wrong. If your look is good, but your words don't align with your actions, and they don't really make you look masculine. Your looks don't even matter at that point. She's looking at you like you're a clown. She's gonna try to make you her do boy. She's gonna try to move you into that simp category. It doesn't even matter that you're handsome. It doesn't matter if you're ripped up. It doesn't even matter if you have status out of this world. She'll use you for the status, but guys, in her eyes, you're always gonna be a clown, a sucker. That's why I tell you guys, be masculine. If you gotta check her ego, check her ego. If you gotta turn your back on her, turn your back on her. Cause guys, as a handsome, select man, it stings a woman's ego. It's like, damn, I fucked up. I gotta go chase him and get him back. Or it's just like, you know what? My pride is hurt. I don't wanna give that up. I'm not even gonna say anything to him, but fuck, I lost out on a good one. Do you understand this? But when you're sitting there trying to prove something to her, you know what I mean? Up late night on the phone, text messages with the gifts and the emojis, Guys, just cut it out because that's why a lot of men aren't attracting women or they might attract a woman, but that's why they can't seal the deal and get sex from the woman. You might go on one, two, three, four dates with a woman and she's still not trying to give you any action and you're over here like, wait a minute, other women give me this attention in public. They let me know that I'm him. Why isn't she acting like I'm him? It's because guys, you're doing too much. As a handsome select man, guys, you do not have to do too much. Like a woman is just going to make it easy for you from the first interaction to the first date or the first meetup and then the first time you smash. Here's another thing, guys. Guys are always like, oh, if a woman tells me we're not doing anything tonight, I'm just going to play along with her game. They really want us to play along. They still end up giving us the cheeks. No, she doesn't respect you. Guys, see, this is what I'm saying. Have you guys ever experienced something like this story time, right? So I think it was like either the first or the second chick when I told you six chicks in a row came over here, straight here, made it happen. The first or second one, guys, when we were about to smash, I'm about to go in and she looks up at me and goes, you're not going to hurt me, are you? Do you see what I'm saying? Let me, let me explain, guys. A woman is not going to worry about, you know, yesterday, this, that, and the third, her ex, how much she can get hurt. Da, 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 da. When a woman is into you guys, it's either right before you go in there or right after she's going to tell you things like, please don't hurt me. I like you a lot. Maybe we should wait. Maybe we shouldn't do that again so fast. But she's going to make it happen with you regardless if she views you as that dude and she respects you. You guys got to stop playing this little, you know, game where you're chasing, where you're her tail. She's a dog and you're like the tail part and she's just going to circle. Go in a circle, go in a circle. Dude, you're handsome, you're select. You catch so much attention, see, that's what I said. In my other video, if you worry about one woman and you're trying to chase her attention, her validation, guys, it just doesn't work. You're gonna miss so many other women in the same area, same vicinity who you just do it for, who are choosing on you, waiting for you to just bump into them one day or come up to them and just start talking to them or they are so afraid of you that they wish they could muster up the confidence to just come up to you and start a random conversation. You know, there's some women that will do that, but there's a lot of women that, you know, that ego and that pride, and here's another thing, forget the ego or the pride, you literally make them so nervous, they just start falling on themselves. So why the hell is you doing all this extra shit to get with one woman when you have a bunch of women falling over themselves? See, let me get into something else. In the comment section, I'm noticing, 
You know, a lot of guys are saying, well, he's not handsome. And, you know, the statistics say that white men are the most handsome and da 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 Guys, you know when you're handsome. It's all about the way women treat you when you step outside your damn house. On a daily basis, you will know that you're handsome. It's not about what he thinks. It's not about what she thinks. It, you know what I mean? Like, the majority of people who give you that energy, that's what you need to be paying attention to. The haters, the naysayers, the people who say you're ugly and shit, it doesn't matter what they think. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, don't ever get in your head like, well, maybe I'm not handsome because she's not reciprocating energy. No, you're him. You just haven't realized that there's more things than looks that play a part in attraction, guys. The laws of attraction are just endless. It doesn't stop with just looks and money and status. There's so many other things that go into it, guys. Do you know that your vocabulary and the way that you speak can turn a woman on? Or a woman that had low interest in you or medium interest in you, she can hear the way you talk and it will just turn her to a high interest woman. I know because I seen it happen one day right in front of me. It happens a lot, but this day was recently, it stood out to me. I'm sitting here talking to my coworker. There's some lady waiting for her food. She is acting like I'm nothing special. Like, you know, like I'm not there. You know, usually how they do. And my coworker is explaining something to me and I turn around and I'm just like, but there's no validity behind that statement. Can you restructure it so I can understand better? She instantly looked up and just would not stop looking at me. Literally put her in a trance. Guys, it's so much shit that goes into it. Your charisma. Like if you ask the woman like, hey, what's your name? Oh, my name's Sarah. I like your song. Like things like that, guys, they'll be looking at you completely different. They're like, who the hell is this guy? Like, you know, he's charming. He's got charisma. He's different. He stands out. It's all about the way you carry yourself. It's not just about the looks. And when you're pining for a woman's attention, nine times out of 10, guys, you're not being dominant. You're not being assertive, guys. And it's just going to signal off the wrong things. You want to be signaling off to a woman that you know that you're him, yet you don't make your looks a big part of it. You don't big yourself up in front of her a lot. You don't act all cocky and conceited like a diva, but at the same time, you move with confidence, proper posture, your aura speaks, you control a room, you have a stern voice, you say what you mean and you mean what you say. And you're always honest and you let people know, there's no reason to lie to you. What am I supposed to be afraid of you? Shit like that, when you move like that, they know that you're him. But if you're going around acting like you're a pretty boy and acting like, you know, She's not good enough for you. And, you know, and here's another thing, guys. Never go after a woman who is not on your level, guys, because when it comes time for her to make a decision and she rejects you or tries to downplay you, it's going to sting your ego. Best believe. I mean, you're going to try to walk away like, oh, but it's going to sting your ego because you had no business even shooting your shot at her anyway. She's a six. You're a 10. Remember that, guys. Never think that going for women that are lower on the SMB scale means that you're going to have the best luck. No, 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 my friend. You're going to actually end up hurting yourself more. You know what I mean? Guys, you want to go after women who are on your level, maybe a tad notch below your level. But when you're that dude, she could never be more sexy than you guys. Here's a part of handsome men's game right here, right? You want to know something, guys? A woman can never be more sexier than you when you view yourself as the sexiest one in the room. Remember that, guys. That's real handsome men's game, but you never say it out loud. Remember that. Guys are always asking, how can I last longer when I'm with my chick? Pretend that you are the sexiest person in the shop or like in the moment, guys. I'm telling you, you will last longer. You look at her like, I'm busting her down. That's right. Take this. You know, I'm that dude. I'm telling you, try it, guys. There's a lot of dudes walking out there, handsome and select, and they just don't know it. And they're giving away free attention, free validation. I said this in a previous video. You ever wonder why women play games with you when your game is tight still? Because she's interacting with other handsome men that don't know their worth, and she's categorizing now. She's like, oh, I must got it like that. If this dude acts like this, this dude acts like this, and he's six foot three, and he acts like that, who are you? I'm about to show you real quick, but you're on the other side, like play one game and I'm going to show you real quick. Guys, this handsome men's game doesn't stop. You got to be militant out here. You have to know all of this stuff because if you don't, your looks will just fall at the wayside, guys. That's why a lot of men get frustrated and they're like, yo, why isn't this chick jumping at the opportunity? It's because you were doing too much, guys. You always got to be cool calm, collected, never be too eager or overly excited to see a chick. You know, you don't have to answer every text message and don't fake it. You should really be busy. 
You shouldn't always be there at every beck and call trying to show her all these things and prove all these things. So you're not handsome, man. You're not select, man. You're not limited edition because every other guy does this shit and they're not even select and she doesn't even like them. So how are you supposed to stand out? So she really liked you and you acted like them. Now you're just like them and they're not even on your level. You understand how that works, guys? You're doing it to yourself. Here's another part, as a handsome man, when I say you don't have to do too much, you don't have to talk too much. So all this staying up on the phone, guys, all this texting, guys, sometimes I wish I could just break the phone. And it would just go back to all in-person interactions because guys shoot themselves in the foot all the time when they're extremely handsome, they're charismatic, they're charming, all that stuff, then the phone just puts them in last place with her. Because listen, a woman needs to yearn for you. A woman needs her heart to grow fonder for you. She needs to know that you're busy, that your look matches your words and that your words match your actions, guys. If those three things don't align, you're better off just being the invisible man. Trust and believe. And yeah, you're still gonna get with women, but you're not gonna be getting with the women who really want you and really respect you and would never disrespect your time because it's limited, because she knows that you're limited edition. She's not gonna play games. But when you look limited edition, but you give her every signal that you're desperate, it's over, guys, it's over. And you also have to remember, women are going to like you for certain reasons. So you have to get your mind right. If you're a handsome man and you're noticing that you catch a lot of attention from females, or you were a handsome man in the past that slept with a lot of women, but women always bring you this energy like, oh, you're such a player. I bet you say that to all the girls. Man, you got all the girls, don't you? Guys, they know that other women like you. So that's why a lot of the times, women are not trying to get into a relationship with you, yet they're trying to sleep with you. See, but the handsome guys who want a relationship mess everything up for themselves because they can't detect the difference between the two, the shadow world and reality. So they wanna live in reality and have a girlfriend when they could be in the shadow world and be everything that she really desires while she goes back to the nice guy. Follow me, guys. When you're handsome, these things are to your advantage. You can never look at a woman that's rejecting you for a certain reason and get down on it and then think, hey, maybe I'm not handsome. No, 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 no. Guys, a part of becoming a man is looking at every situation and be like, what part did I play in this and how can I fix it? That's just how it gotta be. So when you're in your head thinking, what could I have done different? You know, here's what you think. I'm gonna say less next time, zip it, let my results show, you know what I mean? Let my charisma show, you know, give her a little dose here and there, here and there, set dates ASAP, and I'm gonna make things happen a lot smoother. Guys, trust and believe, the moment I stopped over-validating, <clears throat> guys, trust and believe, the moment I stopped over-validating, the moment I just zipped it and talked less, and gave masculine energy and gave women directions, be here by this time, none of this goofy shit, that's when I just started catching bodies, 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 bodies. I'm telling you guys, it has to be this way. You will literally think back to women that you fumbled with and be like, yo, if only I just did this little thing, I would have been in there. You're going to be able to instantly go back and remember stories where you messed everything up and you're gonna be like, damn, I had it in the bag. I'm telling you guys, because it's not only ugly men or unattractive men or dudes in the friend zone who go through this. Handsome men are not exempt from getting rejected or getting played with guys, but we have to be on our extra P's and Q's being handsome and select guys, because like I said, attention is a woman's currency and if you have no game if you don't know these things and she's not feeling you she will bleed you dry of your time and attention and you're just going to be sitting there like wait a minute what just happened when she bounces you hear nothing from her you go on her instagram and see she's got a man you know what i mean or see she's here with so and so and you're gonna be like wait a minute but i just spent all this time investing and talking and proving and showing and yeah, guys, I'm telling you, it happens all the time, guys. So just remember that if you're handsome and select, you do not have to do too much. Be yourself. You know, hit her with the 007 James Bond game. You know, you have to know that you are him. You have to know that you are him. You have to know that you are him. And when you move like a simp, she knows that you are not him. 
you are them. You are just like them. And guys, all you're going to do is repel her. I'm telling you. So as a handsome man, just work on your game. Try to talk less. And when you do talk, say what you mean. Mean what you say. Set dates with women. You know, tease women. You know, break their ego a little bit. Be more confident. When you go out into the field and you interact with more women, it's going to be so easy. You're going to learn that no matter if she's Asian, black, white, Spanish, I don't know. Women all act the same when they're into you. So when a woman's acting very weird or very hot and cold, and you're like, yo, but I'm handsome. What the hell is going on? I thought I had game. Guys, she don't like you like that. She don't like you like that. Any woman that likes you like that is gonna be trying to get busy and worry about all the other stuff later. Trust and believe. Hopefully this video got through to you and you can pinpoint where you were going wrong or maybe where you're still going wrong and you can correct it as a handsome select man. Because remember guys, many are called, few are chosen. And it's only a few of us. So always remember that when you're out here moving with chicks. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay handsome, my boys. Let's go!